Let's accept it. Most of us think that mass and weight are pretty much the same thing. Are they? No, they're not. There's a very simple way to understand the difference. Mass is simply the amount of matter that's present in the object. Now consider two situations. One in which an object is on the earth and second in which the same object is on the moon. Will the mass of the object be different in these cases? To answer this question, we ask ourselves another simple question. Will the amount of matter present in the object be different in these cases? Absolutely not. The matter in the object is not changing at all, which is why the mass will be the same in each of the cases. The mass of an object remains constant no matter where it is placed. The standard metric unit of mass is the kilogram. Another concept we'd learnt about an object's mass was that it is a measure of its inertia. Greater the mass of an object, greater will be its inertia. Inertia is nothing but the tendency of an object to resist change in its state of motion. So now we have an idea about what mass is. But what's weight then? How do we understand the weight of an object? Mass is nothing but the measure of how much matter an object has. Weight is a measure of how strongly gravity pulls on that matter. It's the measurement of the gravitational pull of an object. Let's understand this using a simple example. Say there are two places, place A and place B and there's an object of mass M. In place A, the pull of gravity is X units and in place B, the pull of gravity is 2X units. Clearly, the pull of gravity is stronger at place B. Now understand this well. The mass of the object will be M at both the places. But the weight of the object will be greater at place B because the pull of gravity is stronger. As the gravity is twice as bigger, the weight of the object will be twice as much at place B as compared to place A. So the weight of an object is a measurement of gravitational force acting on it. How can we understand weight using a formula? We know the Newton's second law of motion which says that the force acting on an object is the product of its mass and acceleration. When it's acceleration due to gravity, we can replace A with a lowercase g. This force due to gravity is nothing but the weight of the object. So if we consider the weight of an object to be uppercase w, we can rewrite this equation as w equals m times g. So the weight of an object is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity. What will be the SI unit of weight? Can you guess? It'll be the same as that of force. Newton. As the value of g at a particular place is constant, we can also say that the weight of the object is directly proportional to its mass. Here's the main takeaway from this video. The mass of an object remains constant everywhere, whereas its weight depends on the gravitational force at the location.